In the name of Allah, the Manifestation, the Merciful, my friends, we're going to start today a bit of action training in IELTS and spoken English class evening session at Genius Institute Lahore. We've got plenty of students here in the evening class as well. So they're going to give uh, their exposure and uh, their reading understanding. Actually, uh, the person is a good reader is a good writer ultimately and the person who's a good speak a listener is a good speaker because reading is an input and writing is an output and listening is your input and speaking is your output so they are interconnected here we'll see that some students will uh, give a uh, certain uh, exposure of texts you know they will read text it were true letter and spirit with the real moment of speaking English. Uh, they will try to be very close to the native speakers and they will give you a brilliant accent. They will observe intonation, rise and fall of the tone. They will also observe, you know, certain pauses. Uh, pauses also play a significant role. So there are some longer pauses, there are some shorter pauses. They also define what you are speaking. So here we go. We're going to start right now. So you will give uh, some very kind attention to all that, ex uh, you know, speak, uh, listening and reading activity of the class, please. Thank you very much. We're going to start short away. Kaini talking to Judy. Kaini, I see you have more than 300 friends on Facebook. Amazing. Is it it? I don't know how it's happened. I think it's because my job takes me oh. all over the world and I make friends whenever I go. Oh, I travel too, but uh, I don't I have make a friends wherever I go. Wherever. Okay? Yes, sir. I travel too, but I don't have that many friends. Come on, Jordan. I'm your friend. <laughs> That's one friend at least. Ah, but what about close friends? Hmm? How, How many you have? 300 are close? I have no idea. Mm, I no, have no idea. Do you no know idea? Hello. I have no idea. idea. Okay. No idea? More than 10 or more than 20? Uh, probably no more than 10 really close friends. Oh, so who is your oldest friend? That's easy. That's my oldest friends. Since we both 16 and he came to my school. He lives in Canada now. Oh. But he was best man at my wedding. And I was best man at his. Oh, how often do you see him? Not often. Maybe once or twice a year. I went over to Canada last year when his son was born. Do you know? He named him Ken after me. Wow. Hey, that's lovely. You and Pat are really good friends, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. Why do you think that is? It's all love of football. Oh, don't tell me, huh? He sports Liverpool too? Of course. Best team in the world. No. Seriously, the best thing about that is that maybe we don't see each other of months. Ever years, but we get together immediately. We're talking about football. No, about all kinds of things. Our families mainly. He's great guy. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, guys and girls, they spoke brilliantly well, but there was a lack of practice. Uh, they can improve it even further if they practice more. Uh, number one. Number two is, uh, as I keep saying that, you have to change the soundtrack. You've got to change the soundtrack. Uh, be familiar with the native accent by listening to it again and again. Instead of speaking simply, for example, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Like this. Uh, where have you been? Where have you been? I want to see you very much. I want to see you very much. I want to see you very much. Uh, uh, you know, I can't believe it is you. 
I can't believe it is you. Like, like this. Accent. Fill it with excitement and try to maneuver your accent according to situation. If it is excitement, uh, show ex excitement in your sentences. If it is unbelievability, for example, you can't believe it. So express yourself as if you can't believe something. So please uh, and tra try to change your sound. For example, if somebody is speaking, if somebody is singing, do you see the change of soundtrack or not? Yes, Speaking and singing, there is a change of soundtrack. So you have to change track of your sound, the way English speakers and native speakers speak. If you practice it, you will become familiar and then automatically you will start speaking like them. First, you have to do ample practice like them. Okay? So that's it. Otherwise, um, there is no, uh, uh, there is no uh, change or transformation which I want to see in you. I want to see you totally uh, different persons, people all together. All right. And I hope that you will become it by practicing more and more. Uh, next Saturday, uh, sorry, Friday, we'll do unit number two. You must start practicing it right now, right today. You know, if you want to perform better after a couple of, uh, after a week or so, yes, on, on Friday, because it's Friday today, and you are Mubarak, you are So that's it. Uh, they have done it, but there is a lot of room for improvement. So. Hi, I'm Rowena. I'm Australian. I come from Melbourne, but now I live in North London with my, with my husband, David. He's English. David and Aaron are art gallery. It's a gallery for Australian Aboriginal art. I just love Aboriginal art. I love. All I the just art. love Aboriginal art like this. I love all the colors and shapes. I'm preparing a new exhibition at the moment. Uh, I came to England in 2006. I came to England in 2006 as a student. My parents wanted me to study law, but I didn't like it, or I hated it, in fact. I left the course after three months and got the job in an art gallery. That's where I met David. Then we had an idea to opening our own gallery just for a bit art. All right. Is it over? No. Because most English people don't know anything about it. <coughs> That was in 2006 and was borrow we borrowed a uh, $250,000 $250, from the bank to do it. We are lucky because the gallery was really successful and paid money back after just uh, five years. So Alright, thank you. What do you like doing in your free time? Do you like listening to music? What kind of music do you like? What did you do last weekend? What are you doing tonight? What are you going to do after this lesson? How many languages does your teacher speak? What's your teacher wearing today? All right, okay, thank you. The next one, please. <laughs> Whose phone is ringing? It's mine. Who's calling? It's my brother. That's who's great. Good start. Very good start. Who's on the phone? I'm going to pub. Who's coming? Whose court is this? It's not mine. Whose are all these cities? Who's going to Tina's wedding? Do you know whose glasses they are? Hi, Sarkhan. Nice to meet you. Can I ask you one or two questions? Yes, of course. First of all, where do, where do you come from? I'm from Istanbul in Turkey. And why are you in here, England? Well, I'm here mainly because I want to improve my English. How much English did you know before you came? Not a lot. I studied English at school, but I didn't learn much. Now I'm studying in a language school here. Which school? The Shakespeare School of English. A good name. 
Your English is very good now. Who's your teacher? Thank you very much. My teacher's called David. He's great. What do you? What did you do back in Turkey? Well, actually, I was a teacher, a history teacher. I taught children from fourteen to eighteen. How many children were in your classes? Sometimes as many as forty. Hi, I'm Anton. I come from Canada, but at the moment I am living here in New York. I am working as a bike messenger. I really like New York. It's the center of the universe and is very cosmopolitan. Well, Faru, I have friends from all over the world. I earn about one hundred dollars a day in this job. That's good money. I am saving money for my education. I was born in Toronto, but my parents are from Bulgaria. They moved to Canada thirty years ago. When they first arrived, they didn't speak any English. They worry about me. Last month, I had a bad accident on my bike, but I'm fine now. Next September, I am going back home to Toronto. I am going to study for a master's degree, and then I hope to get a good job. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day again. See you tomorrow. Yeah, about nine in the coffee bar. How do you do? How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. Not at all. Don't mention it. I am sorry. I can't come tonight. Never mind. Perhaps another time. Can you please? Can you help me with this exercise? Of course. What's the problem? Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Same to you. Sorry, I am late. It doesn't matter. You are here now. Cheers. Cheers. Here's your new job. Where were you born? In Scotland. What do you do? Scotland. Scotland. England. Scotland. New Zealand. Not Scotland. England. England. Scotland. New Zealand. What do you do? I'm a teacher. Are you married? No, I'm not. Why are you learning English? Because I need it for my job. When did you start learning English? Two years ago. How often do you have English classes? Twice a week. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day again. Yes, it's really warm for the time of year. See you. See you tomorrow. Yeah, about nine in the coffee bar. Fine, nine is good for me too. How do you do? How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. Thank you very much indeed. Not at all. Don't mention it. It was so kind of you. I am sorry, I can't come tonight. Never mind. Perhaps another time. I am free tomorrow night. What about that? Of course. What's the problem? I don't know what this word means. Bye. Bye. See you later. Yes. Let's meet after the class. Thanks. Same to you. Thanks. Are you doing anything special? Sorry, I'm late. It doesn't matter. You are here now. Yeah. I miss the bus. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to a new job. Thanks a lot. I am excited, but a bit of nervous. <laughs> Turn left in the high street, and my house is first on the right. She's she left hardly to catch her bus. I'm going to run a marathon next month. I'm working at home for the rest of the week. I need a rest. I'm so tired. <coughs> What kind of book do you like reading? Thank you. Next. <laughs> There is no need for clapping on every performance. Uh, I will de de decide whether I have to clap or not. Please. A survey over ten thousand couples asked them how they first meet. The top three were first with twenty-two percent at work, second with twenty percent through friends, and third with fifteen percent at school or university. Are you whispering? 
कान में कान में बात कर रहे हो नेक्स्ट विद ट्वेल्व परसेंट वॉज मीटिंग ऑनलाइन नो डेज मोर एंड मोर कपल्स आर मीटिंग दिस वे जस्ट एट परसेंट मीट एट अ बार और क्लब विद एंड फाइव परसेंट थ्रू दी फैमिली विच वॉज क्वाइट सरप्राइजिंग ओनली फोर परसेंट मीट ऑन अ ब्लाइंड डेट थ्रॉप्स नोट सरप्राइजिंग लास्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट वन परसेंट मीट वाइल शॉपिंग सो डोंट गो लुकिंग फॉर लव इन द सुपर मार्केट दैट लीव जस्ट थर्टीन परसेंट वो डिटेंट मीट इन एनी ऑफ दीज प्लेस All right, thank you. Hi Anna, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Can I help you? No, thank you. I'm just looking. Excuse me. Is that seat free? No, sorry. I'm afraid it isn't. What do you do like doing in your free time? I like being with my friends. We go to each other house and chat. Do you like listening to music? Yes, of course. I have an iPod. What kind of music do you like? I like all kind rock, jazz, pop. But thing I like most by listening to my dad's old Beatles album. What do you do last weekend? Okay, thank you. A survey of our ten thousand couples asked them how they first met. The top there were first way twenty two percent at work. second wait 20% through friends and third wait 15% at schools and universities next wait 15% was what was meeting online nowadays more and more couples are meeting this way just 8% met at a bar or club and 5% through the family which was quite surprising only 4% met on a blind date perhaps not so surprising last of all just 1% met while shopping so don't go looking for love in the supermarket that leaves just 13% who didn't meet in any of these places a very interesting survey analysis actually uh looking for uh, the love in the supermarkets is of no uh benefit for you guys because you can't find your future wife there there are lots of different situations in which people got married uh, arranged marriages are the best marriages uh, or the love marriages are the best marriages how many people are in the favor of love marriages no person <laughs> understanding every so i mean to say that you are all in favor of arranged marriages yeah. oh my god uh, there is a guy who is saying that I'm in favor of one arranged marriage and one love marriage. <laughs> okay, great. There is a permission for four marriage in Islam. Yes. Uh, only one is too expensive these days. All right, guys. Hello, the next. What do you like doing in your free time? I like being with my friends. We go to each other's houses and chat. Do you like listening to music? Yes, of course. I have an iPod. What kind of music do you like? I like all kinds, rock. All kind. Rock, jazz, pop, but the thing I like best is listening to my father's old Beatles albums. What do you do last weekend? It was my mom's birthday, so we all cook a special meal for her. What are you doing tonight? nothing much i want to get an early night before the weekend what are you going to do after this session i have a bit of shopping to do then i am going home how many languages does your teacher speak only english she says she doing to learn italian language next year what should teacher wearing today a very pink jumper and red trousers Mm, not a great look. All right, thank you very much indeed. Uh, what you she was talking about that pocket doesn't allow actually when you want to marry for the second or third wife. So uska shayar ne kaha tha ki ji to karta hai ki sara jahan khareed lo. Ji to karta hai ki sara jahan khareed lo. 
मगर चेप कहती है बकवास मत कर सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरीबॉडी माय फ्रेंड्स रे आई कुडन गिव एक्चुअली टाइम्स ऑफ देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ गाइस सिटिंग हियर इन द क्लास दे कुडन गिव देयर प्रेजेंटेशंस अनफॉर्चूनेटली टुडे बट यू कैन स्टिल सी दे आर एक्चुअली हैविंग a great excitement that they must present themselves in uh, reading the script and showing their accent but unfortunately we don't have time left with no time is around around 8 o'clock now so next time you guys will be given the chance an opportunity are you happy yes okay great <laughs> we are very very happy all right guys girls thank you very much indeed inshallah i'm going to see you tomorrow not tomorrow me when i said tomorrow or the weekend yes. it means the next working day yes. and you have to prepare yourself for presentations you remember yes. uh in the meantime god bless you all take care and stay blessed yes.